Have you ever wondered how you can work quicker using the layers panel in Photoshop? In this video, I'm going to show you 17 Photoshop layers tips and tricks. Whether you're just starting out with Photoshop or you've been using it a while, this video is for you. Be sure to check the links in the description because I'm going to put the time codes for all these tips and tricks so you can skip around if you want to. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm right in the middle of the screen here and I'm going to start with adding a new layer. So on a Mac, it's Command Shift N. On PC, it's Control Shift N. So Command Shift N, and it brings up a new layer dialog box. And if I say OK, it creates my new layer right there in the middle. If I want to create a new layer without the dialog box coming up, I add an Alt or Option to that shortcut. So it is Shift Alt Option N and there it is create a new layer so now let's create a layer below the layer that we have selected by default when you create a layer it creates a layer above the layer you have selected so hold down the command key and come down here to the new layer icon and there it's created a new layer below the one that was selected so there's a lot of ways to hide and show layers course you can click on the eye icon right here but if you have a group of layers that you want to hide and show you can click on the top layer then click shift and click down to the bottom layer that you want to hide and then click on commander control and the comma key and it just turned off all those layers at once and of course to turn them back on it is Commander Control, comma. Hello, by the way, I'm Charles. Welcome to the channel that helps you get started with Photoshop, Lightroom, and photography. If you're finding this video useful and you want more tutorials, tips, and tricks just like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification so you're the first to be notified when we release brand new content every week. Another thing you could do with layers is you can copy and paste a layer from one document to the other. Now I've got this subject layer right here. I'm going to type Command C and come over to another document and say Command D. And that paste that other layer into the new document. So that is a way that you copy and paste layers in between documents. So in some cases, like here in this document, you have a lot of layers. Well, you might want to organize them and one way that you can organize them is to add colored labels. So if I right click on a group, this craft group right here, and come down here and let's say I make this group green and everything in the group is green also as a green label. And I'll come down to this group here called glass let's make that blue so there i've kind of organized these two groups with colors another thing that might help you with the complexity of a document say has a lot of layers is say you want to just look at certain types of layers well up here is a filter so right here there's some things that are actually built in you can filter by adjustment layers so there, I just clicked on that and you see it's filtered just by my different adjustment layers that are in this document, um, by text layers, that's that icon. And since I've already added some color labels, I can filter by that too. So if I select color and I select blue, there are the layers that I've had a blue label put on. And if you've done some filtering and you want to temporarily turn off that filter, there is this red dot right here that you can click and your filtering is temporarily off. You can change the opacity of a layer in the layers panel. If you hit V for the move tool and type in the keyboard, say I'm going to type in four and the opacity is 40, uh, type in seven, opacity is 70. And if you want a percentage like 18%, just type in 18. 
So that is changing the opacity of a layer. And if you want to turn off all the layers except for the layer you're on, all you need to do is say Alt Option and click on the eye icon on that layer that you're on. And it turns off all the layers above and below it except for the one you're on. So a lot of times a good practice is to name your layers something that is meaningful to you in your project. If you double click in a layer and say, I'm gonna, this is already called darker, but I'm gonna call it darker one. I'm gonna hit tab, it goes down to the next one automatically. And I'll say loom to just for the heck of it. And you can keep on tabbing down until you are actually done renaming the all the layers that you want to rename. Now, a lot of times you may want to do some work on a layer that is basically toward the end of your workflow. If you want to merge your, all your layers into a new layer, it is shift option command E. Now that layer is basically a layer that contains all the layers below it. So you may want to do some work like some final retouching or something and it's the last thing that you're doing but you want one layer that is stamped like that. It is called a stamp visible. If you want to move your layer up and down the stack of layers, you can type command or control and hit the left bracket per down and the right bracket per back up. So that's moving your layers up and down the stack. And here's a really good one. So if you hit command or control, option or alt A, so that's all the keyboard shortcuts for Mac and PC. It selects all of the layers, all of them in the whole document. And if I right click on that and say, convert to smart object, and this is something I've seen done, it's creating a smart object out of everything. So now if I come up here to filter, camera raw filter, what I can use this for is making last minute adjustments on the whole document as, as a whole. Maybe you want to take down the exposure a little bit, um, maybe the highlights down a little bit and say, okay. And you can go back to that and change this, of course, because it's a smart object, but that's pretty good use for that particular layer um, shortcuts. Another way we can get a selection back from a layer thumbnail is on say this subject layer right here. I'm going to click command control and click on the thumbnail and my selection comes back. Here I have two text layers and I want to put them in a group. Shift click on both of them and it is command or control G. There is my layer that I have a group and to ungroup it, it is shift command G. So control command G to group it. I can click and drag on that layer effect and drag it right onto the group. And now everything in the group has that same layer effect. Something that's fairly new in Photoshop is when you come up here to the blend modes on the top of the layers panel and you can come down to each of these blend modes and highlight them and you can see the effect how it is changing. But what you can also do is hold down the shift and hit the plus and minus keys. I'm hitting the minus key right now and it is changing the blend modes again by holding down the shift and hitting the plus and minus keys. So that's another way to change your blend modes and see how it's looking. And if you have a shape layer, you can color it by hitting Alt Option, Delete, and that is your foreground color. Or you can hit Command Control and hit Delete, and you're filling it with your background color. And I'm going to come up here to File, Scripts, Load Files into Stack, and I'm going to choose Folder. And I'm going to browse to that folder on my computer and say open and say okay. And now I have all of these photos of these cars that have opened up as a layer in Photoshop. 
if I wanted to shut off all these other layers except for the, the one I'm on, it is Alt Option and clicking on this eye icon. So that is one way to load all the files to stack. So now to the question of the day, which of these tips were new to you? Let me know in the comments below. If this video was helpful, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you want more short and easy tutorials, see the ones above. And remember, it's never too late to learn. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.